Hello, today I'd like to talk about the use of technology by U.S. presidents. One of the earliest American technologies is the newspaper. In Boston in 1690, Benjamin Harris published Public Occurrences Both Foreign and Domestic. This is considered the first newspaper in America, even though only one edition was published before being suppressed by the government. Fourteen years later, in 1704, the Boufton Newsletter became the first continuously published American newspaper. Soon after, weekly papers began publishing in New York and Philadelphia. Newspaper editors soon discovered readers loved it when they criticized the local government. In New York, in 1734, the governor brought John Peter Zanger to trial for criminal libel after publication of satirical attacks. The jury acquitted Zanger, making him an American hero for freedom of the press. The result was an emerging tension between the media and the government, and satirical attacks became commonplace. In 1783, the Pennsylvania Evening Post became the first American daily newspaper. By 1789, the administration felt the need for a, for a paper of their own, and under the influence of the Secretary of Treasury, Alexander Hamilton, the Gazette of the United States was issued at New York. The American press grew rapidly during the first party system of 1790s to 1810s, the Federalist Party, represented by Alexander Hamilton, who was never president, and the Republican Party of Thomas Jefferson, third president from 1801 to 1809, and James Madison, fourth president from 1809 to 1817, both sponsored papers to reach their loyal partisans. Following independence, the first article of the United States Constitution guaranteed freedom of the press. The U.S. Postal Service Act of 1792 provided substantial subsidies, and newspapers were delivered up to a hundred miles and beyond. From the 1830s onward, the penny press began to play a major role in American journalism, while technological advancements such as the railroad, telegraph, and faster printing presses in the 1840s helped expand the political message across the nation. Editors typically became the local party spokesman. Andrew Jackson, seventh president from 1829 to 1837, was the first president to ride on a railroad in 1833. Three years later, William Henry Harrison, ninth president from 1841. Despite dying of pneumonia just 31 days into his term, he was the first president to campaign using the railroad. During the early 20th century, prior to the rise of television, the average American read several newspapers per day. Starting in the 1920s, changes in technology again morphed the nature of American politics as radio began to play an increasingly important role. Woodrow Wilson, 28th president from 1913 to 1921, was the first president to give a radio address and hold a press conference and regular news briefings on the radio. Franklin D. Roosevelt, 32nd president from 1933 to his death in 1945, was the first president to appear on television. Roosevelt gave a televised speech at the opening ceremony for the 1939 New York World's Fair. Harry S. Truman, 33rd president from 1945 to 1953, was the first president to have a nationally televised inauguration in 1949. Millions of people watched his second inauguration, broadcast as a single live program that aired on every network. School children watched from their classroom. Truman authorized a holiday for federal employees so they could also watch. The ceremony and the speech were also broadcast abroad and was translated into languages including Russian and German. The 1949 inauguration may have had more witnesses than all previous presidential inaugurations combined. Dwight D. Eisenhower, 34th president from 1953 to 1961, was the first president to give a televised news conference in 1955 and the first president to appear on color television. 
Eisenhower is the only president to win an Emmy Award in recognition of his extensive use of television. John F. Kennedy, 35th president from 1961 to his death in 1963, was the first president, along with Richard Nixon, to participate in televised pre presidential debates. He took part in four televised debates in 1960. Donald T. Trump, 45th president from 2017, is the first president to use Twitter to talk to the people directly. I fail to see how this is any different than the use of technologies of their time by presidents before him. The president's words matter. The president's words have consequences. The president's words are an indication of the direction he has in mind for the nation, and it doesn't matter where they are heard. I fully understand that President Trump is new to politics, but ignorance is no excuse of the job.